Hi, my name is Jalil. I'm 10 years old. I like music and spending time with my friends and my family. A couple of years ago, I was diagnosed with acute rheumatic fever. I need to make sure I get a bison injection every 28 days at the clinic. Otherwise, I could get very sick. Today, I'm going to show you what it's like to get my injection. My mom takes me to the clinic on my injection day. When we arrive at the clinic, we meet Savannah, who's a health worker. Morning, Dalil. Morning. How are you today? Good. Next, we go to see Erin. She's the person who gives me my injection every 28 days. Hey, guys. Come through. We always have a big chat about how I am doing and how I would like to get my needle each time. Hey, how are you both going today? I still get a little nervous before an injection. Even though I've had lots of them, Erin doesn't mind if I have any questions. So we'll do what we always do. We'll talk about all the different stuff and how you think you'd like your needle today. We'll do your game plan. At the clinics, there's lots of different things that I can choose to help make me feel comfortable when getting my injection. Like the Buzzy Bee, the Cool Sense, and Ice Pack. I can even use Antinox if I am feeling really nervous. Next, we talk about where I should get my injection. There are three to choose from DG, VG or thigh. She also asks if I want to lie on my tummy, my side or lean over the bed. We have a chat about what I would like to do for distraction. It really helps if you stay calm and relax while you get the needle. I like to look at some YouTube videos on my mum's phone. Sometimes we sing, sometimes I talk to Erin about my family and going to get a treat afterwards. This helps me keep my mind off it. I like to have my mum in the room holding my hand. I like for Erin to tell me just before she does the needle so I could say I am ready. It helps that Erin gives me lots of choices about how I want to get the needle. It makes it less scary. It is really important that the injection is so nice and warm before it is given so Erin holds it in her hands for a few minutes while we chat. It has to be given slowly so I have to remember to lie really still. It helps if I wiggle my toes. I also try to stay calm and think of something nice. The injection doesn't take long and I feel relaxed once it is done. We make an appointment for next time. If I go over 28 days, I am at risk of getting another episode of acute rheumatic fever. So we make sure I am never late. Thank you, ladies. I'm so proud of you, Jalil. Good boy. Thank you. Bye. Sometimes I get frustrated that I need the injections. But my mum reminds me that getting them means that my rheumatic fever doesn't get worse. It means I still get to play and hang out with my friends and be like everyone else. If you have rheumatic fever or rheumatic heart disease, remember, if you keep getting your needle, it will keep your heart strong and healthy.